which there are no hospitals offering OB or prenatal care, no birth center or no OB providers are considered maternity care deserts and force families every year to find new ways to get the care that they need. So to help us understand the impact of maternity care deserts is Chief Executive Officer at March of Dimes, Dr. Elizabeth Shirell. Thank you so much for joining us. But first, what exactly is a maternity care desert? It's an interesting concept here. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. I appreciate you having us today. Yeah, a, a maternity care desert is actually a county that has no prenatal you know, place to go to get prenatal care, like an OB provider, I should say, specifically an OB provider or a hospital or birthing center that to deliver in. So th those two things. Um, and that defines a maternity care desert. And we've seen that 5.6 million women live in this country with no or limited uh, maternal health care. And you did a report on all of this. So what were some of the key findings? Yeah, so I really, we've been reporting on this since 2018. Across this country, we've seen 70 additional counties that were not deserts in 2018. We've seen that hospitals have closed their maternity care, right, their unit, their maternity care units um, has been a 4% decrease over the past year. We're also reporting in miles to drive, as well as things like preterm birth when it comes to chronic health conditions, as well as socioeconomic conditions. And then we also report on, on telemedicine and what it's like in your specific county and your state and what, how we can continue to support that. So how can this data then be used to address these issues? Uh, great question. In Florida, 19.4% of counties are defined as maternity care deserts, and 20.8% of birthing people received inadequate prenatal mm. care. So remember, if you women who don't get prenatal care are compared to women who do, are th are three to four times more likely to die. Wow. So that 28. Point 20% of women birthing people within who didn't get that prenatal care, we need to help them. Yeah. We need to get them access to care and, and get them a provider to be seen. March of Dimes does things like brings in mobile units to actually bring care to women. Uh, we do things like doula care where we're um, getting community health care workers to the patients um, to help them not only before they deliver, during and after. We also do a lot of advocacy to try and support women at, you know, for a year after giving birth to be able to get expansion of Medicaid. Because we know women don't recover after six weeks of having a baby. Uh, it's a journey, right? And so what we really want is better outcomes for all women, no matter whether where they live, their wealth, their geography, right? Yeah, well, doctor, how can we prevent the potential gaps then in coverage for moms and babies? Yeah, I, I, it's an excellent question. I think we realize we need to focus really, you know, specifically on those chronic health conditions. We need to look at where those maternity care deserts and those hospital closures, you know, we're seeing them because of low volume, um, nursing shortages, OB shortages. We, we need to really focus. It's a multi-layered kind of solution. If there was one thing, I would say it today, we don't have that one thing. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-layered um, response we have to have. I also think if we start looking at maternity care deserts, preterm birth, and then we start looking at race, those are some of the worst outcomes as well. So there's a lot to focus on here. Well, where can we go for more information on all of this? Uh, best question, <laughs> marchofdimes.org backslash mcdr so it's our website marchofdimes.org and that backslash mcdr is maternity care desert report appreciate it jordan thank oh yes you. thank you so much and you know what we're doing we're doing our part too right now just talking about it so and for you guys doing your report you on all it. of this so thank you again and of course if you'd like to see this interview again everyone out there you can head on over to our website at first coast